Oh, nearly time to start, people. I'm very excited. <clears throat> Just getting everything set up here. Uh, welcome to those who uh, have joined me so far. Love it if you um, can send me uh, where you're from. Yeah, in the comments below. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to have you here. Those of you that have uh, got up early or late or wherever you are in the world, I don't know where you are, but nice to have you here. Joining me live from Melbourne, Australia, in the mountains. Um, some of you will know me, some of you, uh, you know, first time. I'm Heather Bradbury and I love painting photorealistic images, as you can see, but I especially love uh, teaching people and helping people discover the, the beautiful way uh, the painting, especially with oils, can just bring some calm into our world. So we're going to have a lot of fun over the next three days. I'm really looking forward to uh, you uh, exploring. And uh, please send me any emails and any questions along the way. I'll just put my little email thing up here, uh, hb at heatherbradbury.com. If you've got any questions, uh, any problems, uh, anything anything at all I will respond to all your emails it might take me all day but I'm definitely going to respond uh, to your emails I love to I'm just here to help you out um, today so I'd love it if you could comment in the comments below um, it's a little bit tricky I'm sort of a one-man show at the moment so I might not be able to respond to those till the next workshop but please uh, put any comments uh, below uh, this video or like I said uh, in this email here if you've got any comments uh, tell me where you're from what you're looking forward to what you're hoping to learn um, you know I will like I said I will respond to you uh, and uh, maybe even if you can uh, click a little uh, like on the little thing below it'll just give me an indication of um, uh, you being here if you're on a mobile phone I just realized that you actually can't comment on this video you'll see there's nowhere to do it but if you're on uh, a tablet an uh, iPad or something like that or a computer you will be able to um, comment on that so um, yeah anyway great to have you here I hope you enjoy this time so we're gonna get on and uh, we're going to learn uh, a bit about how to paint water covered rocks as you can see behind me here I have a piece here I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute um, yeah so how fun is this please don't stress if you've never painted before or if you um, never feel it felt like you haven't drawn since primary school or high school or whatever like that um, I'm going to show you ways to do this where you be very relaxed and I look I have students come into my uh, studio well they're not students at the time <laughs> they become students uh, they come and they've never they've, like I said they've just haven't painted or drawn since high primary school uh, and now they're doing amazing pieces so you can do the same it's actually quite easy and uh, easy to learn how so very excited about the potential of what you can do so like I said I'd love you to leave some comments um, uh, below where you're from and what you're looking forward to anything really so that'd be really cool all right, so I'm just going to get on and show you a little bit of the, the resources that you'll need for this. Hopefully you will see uh, up here and down below on this page, you'll see um, these little buttons where you can actually respond and not respond. I'm thinking about responses that you can click on and download um, Yeah, the resources that you'll need. So let's have a little look at the resources that we've got here. So first of all, you'll be able to download um, this piece here, uh, this PDF. Uh, and it has all the colors on it and I really want you to not worry about getting the exact colors uh, a lot of what I teach is about not necessarily teaching um, how to mix the exact color uh, but it's about the darks and the lights the contrasts in what you do so um, you know for instance with this piece here you know it's really important that we get these contrasts see this contrast down here the highlights and the, the darks you could do this in black and white and it would still look real wouldn't it because you know we love black and white photography as well so I want you to just chill out relax your shoulders don't stress if you don't have or don't, can't find the right colors that's fine and also I've had a lot of questions about people um, from people asking oh I'm watercolor I won't join you because it's bad or I do acrylics I don't have the paints this technique this uh, the way of learning how to do photorealistic painting is really open to any you can do pencils uh, with this 
I will, however, be uh, teaching with oils. So, um, you know, I, I you know I love oils, <laughs> and I convert pretty much everyone to oils who come into my studio because it is such a beautiful medium. So, I, please do not. Um, stop yourself from going out just you can just go and buy a little cheap pack of oils and some medium um, you will need some some sort of medium when you're working with oils so the medium is oil based uh, and you don't want anything too thick you can see how that sort of really really runny honey I think you know um, you need something that you can mix the oils with um, to make it work a couple of brushes uh, um, find a bit of uh, an old plastic tray or whatever uh, anyway let's have a look at some of those resources that we, we need so brushes, uh, I love using filbert brushes. What are filbert brushes? Uh, they're the ones that have like a round edge on them. Uh, really lovely to work with. And also the just the round uh, ones that come to a point. I love them, love them, love them. Um, and we've got a little checklist here for all the things that you need. So obviously you need some paints uh, and brushes, a palette uh, or a pad. So uh, I don't know where my palette pad is right now, but you can see sort of up in the top there, um, I, I use paper palette, but you can use uh, plastic trays or um, anything really, as long as it's um, waterproof, basically. Uh, medium, which I just showed you before, some paper towel or a rag, uh, some soap for washing up. That's what I wash it up, wash the paints up with. Uh, some masking tape, pencil, uh, a ruler, an eraser, and some canvas paper. So today we will be using um, some just canvas paper. All right, so you can sort of see how thick that is. It's got a bit of a texture to it. Um, there is a product that is just canvas paper that's a lot smoother, uh, as long as it's um, really something that doesn't uh, seep through. Uh, that's why canvas is really good. And this has had a coat of some white paint over it. Uh, you know, I bought it like that um, so that it seals it. We need a pencil, we need a ruler. Um, again, if you don't have any of this right now, go and find some paper and a pencil, grey lead pencil today. Uh, if you can find a, a ruler and a pencil and um, what else are we doing? Uh, masking tape is what we need. Is that about it? Oh, an eraser, which I probably don't have, so hopefully I don't make a mistake. But, you know, you do need that. You really do. Um, and you also need your printout. So if you don't have a printout, it's not as... Uh, not absolutely essential um, you just have to sort of measure uh, but it is much easier if you have it already printed out cool so before we get into all that so there's some of the resources Oh, the other resource of course is um, uh, the let's have a quick look here so the printout the printout you need to print that out and cut it out uh, if you you know really just want to um, go along today with you know it's just a pencil and uh, you can actually rule up I think let me have a look here um, it is how many inches is this if you just if you just measured up like a five by five inch um, square uh, maybe or even four actually four inch four by four square or oh, five five would be better or if you want to get more specific exactly what mine is it is I think it's 12 centimeters yes 12 centimeters if you're a centimetre um, person or I don't know if you're from uh, the US it's inches but um, 12 by 12 just draw up you can draw that up while we're talking uh, and just use a pencil oh good all right so first of all I just want to tell you a little bit more about myself who am I and uh, why are you sort of here uh, looking and enjoying this live workshop so I um, I live in Australia, number one. Those of you that from overseas will know my accent. Those of you from Australia will not hear a thing. It's bizarre, isn't it, how accents do that? Um, so when I hit my 40s, um, which wasn't all that long ago, or was about 10 years ago, ooh, um, sharing my age here, I was probably more than that now, I burn out majorly, so I was uh, working for an organisation where we were doing a lot of work. I was um, working late nights, often all night, for young kids, um, and it was yeah quite challenging anyway. I burned out, and um, one of the things that got me through was I went back to my roots. I was working on the computer most of the time. I went back to drawing and painting, and um, I'll show you one of the first paintings I did. I think it's here. Uh, there it is. Um, I, just, I just ended up doing this little painting. 
uh, one day when I was just feeling really flat and I'm like, I couldn't, my, my body was very ill, so I couldn't actually work real well or oh, we'll do much really. So that was a bit of fun. So, um, well, fun, not fun being sick, but fun actually having a chance to sort of go back and do some uh, drawing. At the time, I didn't feel like uh, there was a lot going wrong. I was really ill. Uh, I couldn't walk very well. Um, my back had sort of given way and there was a lot of um, health problems in the family around me as well, which I was um, having to help with. Uh, so, yeah, it was a pretty tough time. Um, so I had to let go of all the work that I was doing, which was like, I don't know, 10 different projects and 10 major things that I was doing, things traveling the world and doing all sorts of crazy things, uh, wonderful things, but it was pretty hard. But painting really brought me back. Uh, painting was one of the things that actually brought me out of quite a, a, a dark time, I suppose you could say. I was really depressed and felt like, you know, my life wasn't really um, kind of be much. Uh, someone said to me, there will be blessings. And I went, well, I don't even know what a blessing is. What is that? Um, and then I did, I started painting and it, it really started to bring me alive. Um, so that little painting that I was showing you before, it's quite small. Um, uh, it's, you know, a little, little thing. And it was just some poster paints from in a kids, uh, that I found, you know, just in a little school room. Uh, I was there at a retreat, um, meant to be running the retreat, but I was so wet, unwell that I couldn't really do that. Anyway, uh, Space Jump to now, I ended up painting uh, another bigger painting of that water drop. Uh, let's see if I can find it. I'm not sure. I think it's here. Um, there it is. Yeah. So I ended up painting a bigger version of that on a really big canvas and um people were my son came out one day when I was doing that and he's like mum I didn't even know you could paint I'm like well either did I it's been a long time it's 25 years earlier that I, I sort of stopped painting and started doing computer work so yeah it was um amazing and then my some of my friends said you should go and put that in an exhibition or you should put that in a gallery I'm like no I'm not an artist and they're like you are you're an artist I'm like say after me I'm an artist I'm like I remember being in the car and exactly the where it was uh, on the road. I remember saying, I am an artist. And they're like, yay. <laughs> and they're like, you should continue doing this. So I'm like, okay, I'll try doing a few more. Took them to a gallery and you know, they're like, you could get $1,000 for this. I'm like, what? Really? Um, anyway, I ended up putting uh, one or a couple in an exhibition, doing really well, selling them for thousands of dollars. I'm like, what? Um, and yeah, then I just started to um, get really excited about teaching because, you know, selling one or two paintings a year, is <laughs> you can't really live on that. Um, and also I paint because of my passion. I, I paint my visual, it's a visual journal. So um it's it's very fulfilling for me. So I, I try or not. I don't think try is the right the word. The right word is I don't paint unless it's something I really feel passionate about, and it's sort of to do with my story. So this particular painting here is called Eternity, and it was when my dad um, was on his last breaths actually, and it's about me sort of putting my hand through and touching that that place wherever you know you, the spirit goes of a person. Um, anyway, it's another whole story, but it was a really beautiful uh, time saying goodbye to him. Very hard and sad, and I miss him dearly. Um, but that painting meant a lot to me. Uh, got distracted about the story. Where was I? So um, yeah, I, my painting sort of I got exhibitions in exhibitions. That's right. Started to teach, uh, and got really excited about teaching others um, how. Uh, it helped me and I wanted to help others. That's why I am here, because I want everyone to know how incredibly beautiful painting is, especially with oils. Um, yeah, and look, you know, if you don't have oils, whatever you're painting with, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, it's just such uh, an incredible medium and really helped me. And it's now helping, you know, hundreds of other people. I have students that... Uh, and probably some of you that are watching this today, um, you know, we really uh, benefit from it all. So it's been amazing. All right. So um, what we're going to do is today we're just going to draw up. I'm going to show you the basics of how this all works. So um, 
uh, I really want to share with you three of the main things that you need to keep in um, in your mind as you're learning and as you're doing this. And there's um, three things that I sort of find out with mostly with with people that start with me, and that is uh, not using too much medium. Uh, often people sort of drown. Like use it's like when you're using water with acrylic. Using too much water, it ends up being really wishy washy. So be careful with that. Um, the other thing is blending. So I'll talk to you a little bit about blending tomorrow or the next day. Um, it's such a, a lovely thing to learn how to do um, blending. And then paint what you see. The main One of the main things is, like I was saying before, look, sure, if you can't get the colours right, don't stress too much, but paint the contrast. Paint, uh, Draw the shapes right. Uh, don't make it up. If you like, I know how to draw a tree and you just draw a tree with some fluff around it. But actually the tree only has fluff on that side or, you know, like you've really got to look, uh, slow down and paint exactly what you see. All right. So um, I'm sorry if you're having trouble logging on because I'm trying to see how it's all working for others. But um, this will be a replay later and you'll be watching it and you'll be able to see it anyway. OK, so um, let us get on now and... Um, Let's do uh, what we what we came here to do. Yeah, let's get this webcam happening here. All right. So to begin with, what we want to do is, um, like I said, have some canvas paper, or you can even have a little canvas. Um, doesn't have to be paper. Uh, I'm saying this because I really want you to just be relaxed about it and not feel like it's like this final piece that everyone's going to see and just enjoy enjoy the process with this. All right, so we're just going to, first of all, put um, the piece that we're going to cut out. So you're actually going to grab this and you're going to cut it out like this. And then you're going to just draw around it like just very, um, very roughly. Just boom, 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 boom. There we go. Uh, and then what we're going to do now is we're just going to, you can do this sort of in different, you could actually do this first if you wanted to. Um, put some masking tape around that. It's probably easier that way. Um, masking tape around your picture so that the lines line up with the edge of that. And then and down here. And then across here. Alrighty. Alright, so once you've done that, then um, you, know, you put the masking tape around there. You know, place this down and then you're going to Draw a little mark on the masking tape where the lines are. Boom, 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 like that. Again, you can do this on paper if you need to, um, but if you want to learn the oils, you can uh, follow on exactly what I'm doing here. All right, so now we're going to grab our ruler and we're going to do a line down here. Really faint lines, so you might not even be able to hardly see this. Okay, down here and down here. All right, and then across. All right, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so you see that? All done up, very easy. Makes it easy when you do this. Don't stress about it being perfect. If this was a picture of a person, then you might want to get a bit more fussy about it, but definitely not being fussy about rocks. They're just rocks. They could be lots of different shapes. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually draw it up. So you can actually also do this. You can bring this to the edge and go, okay, that's where that rock is. That's where that rock is. That's where that rock is. Um, that one comes in there and then move it around. Put that up there. Okay, that's where that rock goes. So actually drawing on the canvas where the rock shape comes in. All right, and then move it around to here. There the rocks here. Boom, boom. All right. And then down the bottom as well. There and there. There we go. All right. Now we can actually draw in uh, the picture. So just start in one spot. And you're just going to keep an eye on exactly where the grid lines is and where it joins. Um, it helps you sort of work out, well, okay, that. That there, you know, if you look at this, if you think about this being halfway, it's about three quarters of the way the long, so that's where I'll start. 
All right, so we're going to start there. I'm going to go over to here. And we're going to draw this rock in here. So just follow one rock round at a time. Now, what is really important is that you, um, if you have an eraser nearby and just keep going till you get it the way you can see it working or the way you can see it right. So checking, you know, from here to here, is that about the same distance? Yes, it is. Um, from here to here, yes, that's about the same. That's right, pretty good. All right. So also when you're drawing a rock in, a lot of people try and ask me, you know, how much detail do we put in? For this particular work, we're just going to put in um, the shadow as well. So you can see there is a shadow line. So we're going to draw that shadow line in as well. There you go, like that. Very cool. All right, and now uh, we're going to draw in the other bits. So there's another one over here. And it's sort of basically, oh, 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 it goes over this way more. What have I done there? Yeah, okay, cool. It goes around there and it ends up being about there. And there's a little line that goes across here and that goes up there. All right, so you can see how basically we're sort of doing it. All right, we're going to draw this one in as well, down here. Okay, down to there, done. And this one, from there to there. All right, and we'll do this bottom rock at the bottom here. And look, you know, you can, um, like I said, you can rub out. If you feel like you haven't got it right, get your eraser. and that's It's your friend. It's not like, oh, no, I have got it wrong. I've got to use the eraser. It's really important that you do do that. Um, I don't have mine nearby, sadly, but um, we'll just sort of make do, which is fine. All right, so I'll do this one. Up and around. Good, good, good. And this one here. Lovely, lovely. Around to there. And then, um, all right, this one here. Goes up to the touch that line. All right, I might put this one in first, actually. It touches that line there. Goes right down below that line and then up. Now this one, I'm do, what I'm trying to do is uh, draw the bit that's sort of above the water, the darker, the darker part. All right, and then we'll draw this top one up here. Going down and around, beautiful. And this one's in here. Okay. So we've got the basic shapes in. Now we're going to go in and sort of draw some of the shading in. So this one up here, there's a dark. So we're looking for the darker line. Don't get too distracted by everything. This sort of goes up in here a little bit wobbly in there and then goes down and up and around like that. And this one we've already done. I might just put that little line in. So this one here, we've got quite a dark patch that comes in and around like that. And there's a bit more of a line up the top. All right, we'll go down here. That one doesn't really have, oh, it does have a little bit of a shadow there. This one's just got a blending bit there. That's fine, we'll leave that. This one just got a little bit of shadow. Goes right round to there. And then this one has a shadow, quite a strong shadow. This one goes, oh, it's sort of where the water shadow has up close there then it comes out big and it goes in again and then it's got a lovely little line that comes up touches this line and back again like that all right uh, this one has quite a dark patch here and then it goes up here a bit of a wobbly line at the top a couple of little things there like that this middle one has a nice little shadow going up here around and down okay and then up into here like that and there's a little funny crease here and a funny crease there okay so far so good what's this one here it's got a little bit of a dark one there it's actually got one that comes down touches that line up again this gray one it goes down hmm. and then another one goes up there there's a little line that goes in like that. <clears throat> now, 
There's a few things in the background in behind here. So we can see there's a little rock here. So I'm going to draw that in. Um, and there's also, you can see under the water there is some of the rock as well. So I'm just going to draw some of those shapes in. Uh, this one here. There's another tiny little rock there. There's a little rock over here. We might just draw that in like that. So that's pretty much where we're at. That's pretty much all we need to do with uh, drawing up. And we're not going to do any painting today. I just wanted to get you to that point um, and you know, really uh, show you that it's really not that hard. I just noticed there's a little bit of a thing up the top there. Another little bit there. Um, yeah, so the rest of it, we will we will play around with the paint side of it. Okay. Um, all right. I'm not sure why there's no picture for for you guys um, today, uh, but I'm really sorry. I'm not sure why this is not working. I I know it will. Uh, I'll be able to put the um, the video up later. So those of you that are watching, that's yeah, just a malfunction. I'm not sure why. Um, but we will get um, this up or replace this video with the actual recording later. So um, probably finish soon and put that up so that you don't miss out. Um, anyway, that's uh, <laughs> uh, what happens when you're doing things live. Things can go wrong, but that's okay. We'll work it out. For, for tomorrow, we'll probably uh, stream from YouTube so that it really works properly. This was, I was trying this for the first time on my website and didn't quite work by the looks. Hey. All right, um, but thank you for those that are listening in. Um, sorry that it's not working for you. I don't know if you've got this far on the video. Uh, but please do come back here to this site. I'll send you an uh, email a bit later today and it will make sense. Those of you that are watching later, I'm glad you can see me. <laughs> um, yeah, and please put some comments uh, down below in uh, uh, here for later. Or like I said, please uh, email me, HB heatherbradbury.com if you've got any questions uh, if you want to tell me something about you I love to hear about who is actually uh, listening in because I'm here to to help you so if there are things that I'm not saying that you, you know you want answers to uh, I want to answer them and I will answer your emails might not be for a few hours after you do it um, but I will definitely answer your emails just looking at some of my notes to make sure that I've covered everything from today um, yeah, really just a, a short little session today just to introduce uh, you to me um, and yeah, help you know what we're uh, going to be doing for the next few days. I love doing this because, you know, of what it's helped, helped me with, what I've seen it help other people with. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to show you a little video of uh, a lady that she, her husband said she couldn't even paint the deck, you know, outside on the... Uh, veranda um, nope she, no, I'm not gonna let you even paint that you know <laughs> uh, and she uh, went to one of my workshops and then realized that she actually loves painting and now she's doing amazing pieces actually a lot more detailed than some of my work um, yeah but we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow uh, please again send me any emails any questions um, hb at heatherbradbury.com uh, I'd love to hear from you how you found this um, really trying to make this as simple as it can be for you we're going to have a lot of fun uh, tomorrow starting with the paints uh, so what you will need tomorrow is to to get out your um, your paint colors uh, again if you really don't have any paints just bring a pencil <laughs> and have some fun with that we will be looking at um, the the actual image here we'll be looking at um, the darks and the lights. Now I don't know if you've noticed already but uh, my printout is very light compared to the actual um, printout or the actual picture on the screen. So if you have, I often have my uh, video, uh, sorry my uh, iPad right near me as well when I'm painting because I want to get the richness of the colour. So the colours sometimes just don't turn out great when you're printing it. Really the printout is for when you are <clears throat> When you are, oh excuse me, <clears throat> when you are drawing up, really that's what it's most helpful for. From this point on, it's really good to have your iPad or something else here, so you can see. <clears throat> Theory me, I have to have a drink. I think. 
so you can see the richness of the colors well uh, i'm gonna head off and i uh, really uh, hope that you get to watch this at some point because i know it didn't work uh, on the day live i'm sure you will because i've got it recording uh, we'll put it up on this page and um, just stay tuned for your emails please uh, with a different link uh, to come tomorrow to see this live uh, all the best. Have a great uh, day whenever you're watching this or evening. And I'll look forward to um, connecting with you more. You'll be able to respond much better with me uh, tomorrow. All good. Um, but please don't feel like you need to know anything about painting or drawing. Uh, you know, as you've seen today, looking at uh, this drawing up, it is really quite simple. You just follow it step by step, drawing up, drawing the lines. Uh, and you've already got an amazing start which is fantastic. So until I see you next, I will go off and work out what happened today while you couldn't see this and you could only hear me. Um, and uh, But we'll put this video back up. Um, all the best. And we'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Melbourne, Australia time. Please look up your uh, timing if you're in a different country. And, um, and please, 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 please email me any questions. I'd love to respond, especially today, knowing that uh, you weren't able to see it. <laughs> Um, and actually ask me any questions I would love to respond so until next time uh, until tomorrow uh, have a lovely day see you later